Right, I thought I'd just introduce you to my shoot bus, my Kabuta RTV X900. So this is the later one. The one that has a windscreen that can fold all the way up. So what I've done is I've actually fitted some Land Rover side lights, uh, which I fitted with 10 watt bulbs, and then used a piece of three inch stainless steel pipe with a split in it just to shade it a bit and save from light going out sideways from the bulb. That's it, we've got two of those and they're wired into what would be the flasher um, the flasher circuit so the wiring is actually under the bonnet what I've done is utilize that, utilize the switch but put the output through to the side lights. Anyway when we come around here, well, we'll do the bonnet first. This platform here is to rest the bipod on. So there's a little cutout, which is for the windscreen washers, the washer jets. See that there? If I, well, I might as well put the, put the windscreen up if I come around. Windscreen goes up, and you can rest the bipod on the platform on the front and brace yourself against the steering wheel. So that's very handy. You've got to watch it if you're driving over um, too bumpy ground with the windscreen because it does bounce a bit and you might break it. So just be careful if you've got the windscreen open. Then again, I've got a towel here, and what that's for is when I'm driving at night. Just to put over the dashboard, oh, there's a wasp there. Um, just to put it over the dashboard so you don't get any light shining from the dashboard. Again, I've got the switches down here, so I'm actually using that one there for the Land Rover side lights. Now, off to my right, we have the rifle. You want to go around the other side. So what I've done here is I've just used an existing bolt hole in the in the frame. I think it's actually meant to be for when you've got doors and it's the gas gas ram should be bolted there. So what I've done is a piece of 10mm 10 10mm 10 by 25 stainless steel which then comes down to a moose um, rifle clamp, a rifle thing, which just has a piece of rubber to keep the, the rifle in. And all it's done is straight down onto the ground. And that is sufficient to hold the, hold the rifle as I'm going over some fairly uneven ground. And then on the back, we have this platform. Which if I take the rifle out, I'll put the bipod down to start with. You put the rifle on the, there. Again, that gives you another sideways on shooting platform. Just made with some 3x2, uh, 3x2 wood thrown together, a bit of old chipboard, sorry, ply on top. And that gives you the ability to shoot from the back sideways. What I tend to do is actually have my um, camping seat in the back and I'll set up and just sit there and wait for things to come to me. I find it's the best way of doing things. Anyway, That's my Kabuta X900 shoot buggy.